Aloha mai kako. Good morning everyone. Um, this is Mike coming to you on the God knows what day we are on this lovely quarantine. So I asked a bunch of you on my uh, social media, what is it that you have an excess amount in your pantry? And I got everything from milk to cereal to my favorite thing, which is rice. So if anyone knows me, they know that rice is something that I love. And in fact, when I first got married, um, my husband used to tease me all the time about all the rice that I ate and how much rice I had. It's just kind of a staple for me, and I like all types of rice. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is there are over 90,000 varieties of rice, of which about 40,000 of them are actually cultivated. In the States, we think of rice just being white rice or brown rice, and occasionally people will have a little bit of jasmine or maybe basmati, but there are loads of other rices. Uh, and obviously, I have a ton of rice as well. It can be used for pretty much every meal and really any application. You can use make drinks with it, you can make desserts with it, breakfasts, lunches, or even just simple plain rice. So kinds of rice that I have in my pantry currently, um, a little low, I do have. And in the next rice we have, I want to tell a little story about it beforehand. It's a little embarrassing story about me. When I was younger and I would go over to my Guyanese friend's house and I would come home and my mom would ask me, you know, oh, did you eat? What did you eat? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I made, uh, they had some curry chicken and some Guyanese rice. My mom would be like, the hell, the hell, the hell is Guyanese rice? And I don't know. So my mom would just brush it off because it's me. So. What I was talking about was parboiled rice. Now what a lot of people don't realize is parboiled rice has actually already been cooked once. So what they do is they steam it and then they dry it. What that does is it lets you cook the rice a lot faster. However, it is not Guyanese rice. That was my ignorance because of all my friends I went to. My Guyanese friends were the only ones that actually use the parboiled rice. I was telling you about your real dotish. So from this point on with my West Indian family, I joke with them and say, you know, hey, we're cooking some Guyanese rice now. Nah. For the first step, what I want to do here today is I want to teach you guys how to make rice flour. You're probably thinking, what the hell are you talking about? Um, I have enough flour, but we want to get through this rice, right? So I want to show you a couple different applications. And one of the things I want to do for you, I want to show you how to make rice flour just in case you do not have it on hand. Now what I've done is I've taken some of this black rice, the forbidden rice, and I've put it into my Vitamix. What we're going to do is we're going to blend the shit out of it until it comes to a fine dust and then we're going to kind of sift off any excess parts so that the larger grains are all back in, repeat, repeat, until we have a nice rice flour. Damn, that's loud. So if you notice here, you see in here. Now I'm going to sift this out into a bowl so you can see what that looks like. So now that we have blended it, we want to put it in a sieve and sift any of the larger grains that did not grind down in a fine powder. What you end up with is a really nice, fine, fine rice flour. Okay, so go ahead and make yourself a batch of this and stay tuned because I'm going to upload a couple of fun videos with rice using both rice flour and regular rice. So a little side note, a couple of people have asked me, well, what about wild rice? Wait a minute, how do people ask you? You haven't even uploaded this video. Well, maybe it was inside your head. No, they definitely asked me. No, I think you asked me. The point being is wild rice is actually not considered a grain. What wild rice is, is actually it's considered an aquatic grass. Now both rice that we know of and wild rice that some people know of, they are actually both grasses. However, this is not technically considered a grain. Anyways, just a little side note, you know, that's all. Back to everything else. A little side note never hurt nobody.